Scanning for audio. Welcome to the Tin Dog Podcast, number 254. Before I start work on the most self-indulgent of Tin Dog Podcasts, I just want to thank Tom from the Doctor Who Podcast and Siobhan from the Who Cast, formerly of the Flashing Blade and indeed Staggering Stories, for their help with making the sketches that you heard last week. Right, and now to business. To business? No, no. Whoastrology. For those of you who've been with me for a while you'll know exactly what that is. An astrological, tongue-in-cheek, reading related to what Doctor Who story was on when you were born. Well, thanks to David J. Howe over at Telos, the book, Who Astrology, is now available to pre-order. It's finally coming out on October the 31st this year. 366 individual dates, all linked with what happened Doctor Who-wise on that specific day. The first version of Hoostrology, the one that I started off with five years ago, took each individual story and you worked out when you were born. Let's take a date at random, shall we? March 4th, 1972. Now that would be episode two of the Sea Devils. So therefore you were born under the sign of the Sea Devils. And you'd have a reading about three paragraphs long dealing with that entire story. But this version of Hoostrology, the 366 individual daily readings, that gets more complicated. Because then you take every single episode of every story that was shown on every March the 4th over the last 50 years. Thus providing you with a much, much more in-depth reading. The fact that I spent two years watching and listening to every single canon episode of Doctor Who, and by canon I mean everything that was on TV, well, was hardly a hardship, was it? All I had to do was be sarcastic and funny about every single Doctor Who episode ever, put them into the right order, catalogue them, cross-index them, and then put them into some sort of cohesive, coherent reading. Ah, that was child's play. Honest. No, thanks to David for all of his work and input on this one. And of course, thanks very much so for Deborah Taylor for providing illustrations for each and every page. The book itself comes in at about 388 pages long. It's 10.99 and can now be pre-ordered from both Telos directly. That would be, well, type in Telos books into any search engine. And let's face it, you're a Doctor Who fan, you know how to spell Telos. Or indeed, you can take a trip over to Amazon. That's both .com and .co.uk and type in Whoastrology. It's the only thing that'll come up. Whoastrology, the time traveller's almanac. I've been told by people who've read it so far that it's hilarious. I'm, of course, far too close to the project, and, well, just a tiny bit biased. But for those of you who've been with me since the beginning, I just want to give you a massive thanks. Because without you, without your enthusiasm for the project, well, it just wouldn't have happened. So yes, this is the single most self-indulgent Tin Dog podcast, but I know you will forgive me. Because you've been with me for a very long time and you've been listening. So yes, Hoostrology, the book... Hoostrology, the Time Traveller's Almanac, is now available to pre-order. And I hope you'll join me in the wonderful world of Hoostrology. Astrology for Doctor Who fans. So until next time when I'll be talking about The Greatest Show in the Galaxy, while I review The Greatest Show in the Galaxy, if you see what I mean, be seeing you. You have been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Doctor Who and its associated shows are all trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Contact us at tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk.